I am Moliono, uh, better known as Yots, as the name is Situ. I'm a doctor. I come all the way from the Eastern Cape. That's where I was born, bred and battered. Did my junior degree in Ontasa at Unitron, and then I went on to specialize in Cape Town. Why did I become a doctor? I always wanted to help people. And uh, little did I know that I'll end up being a gynae, right? Then I trained as a gynae in Cape Town, and when I was training, it always intrigued me why some women would fall pregnant spontaneously and have children, and yet others would struggle. So I always wanted to help the one that was struggling. I guess that's where my love for fertility started. Then I got trained into fertility, and the rest is history. Navigated through life, found myself in KZN, and then I was working in the state, but unfortunately there was no fertility clinic in the state, and um, moved into private, joined Beta Lab, and here I am, trying to help as many women as we can. In as much as we want to help women, we need to understand that um, not everyone can have children with their own eggs which is one of the topics I want to talk about so that women understand it. As a woman, you are born with a, a basket, your own basket of eggs. And as time goes on, when you start having your periods, those eggs get depleted rapidly. And by the time you reach the age of having children, you have enough eggs to have children. And then in your mid forties. You might still having periods, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have eggs that can give you children. So what should happen? What can you expect? Let's give you an example. You are 47. You've recently gotten married because some women get married late and later on. So now when you get married at that age, having children using your own eggs, it's going to be very, very difficult. Studies show us that at that age, you stand a chance, a 99% chance of having an abnormal egg. What do I mean by an abnormal egg? It's an egg that's either not going to get fertilized, or if it does get fertilized, it will give us an abnormal chromosomal baby. Okay. So, like, if we're looking at this graph, for example, this, we often use it to guide patients as well. The ideal time from this graph to have children, it's between, in, between the ages of 24 up to about 37, 38. But then by the time you reach 38, you can see that um, your risk of having an abnormal baby, it's approaching 50%. And then it goes on and on and on. So now, if we're looking at someone who is, just for you to see the graph more nicely, if we're looking at someone who is in their 40s, you can see where we are. It's seven, up to 70% so of having an abnormal child. And then at 43, it goes up to 90 and, and, and so on. 95 as the time goes by. And by the way, as the age goes up, the number of eggs that you have in your system go down. And as the number of eggs go down, the number of abnormal eggs go up. So this is what this graph is all about. Okay, so we've got various ways of trying to assist those women. Yes, we can get egg donation from family members, or sometimes we get egg donation from anonymous donors to try and assist those women. And some women, it's not because of age. Some women are born without eggs. So those women will rely more on egg donation. That's one of the things that we try and assist women with to have children.